Maui is well known across the world for its pristine beaches and has even been voted best island in the world multiple times. For many Maui residents, the ocean is part of our daily lives. This was definitely true of Maui resident Mike Moran who would swim daily at Keava Kapu Beach until one day while swimming he came across something strange floating in the water. In one sense you're leaning in to see if this is really what you think it is but not wanting to get too close because if it is you don't want to touch. And I looked at it close enough and I said this looks and smells like human waste and uh, I went out and just asked a few people who I had seen on the beach and they said, oh yeah, it comes from the boats. I was completely unaware there was such a thing as a sewage dumping problem. After learning that boats were allowed to empty their sewage more than three miles offshore and had been doing this for years, Mike decided to try and stop this. But he soon realized that even finding who to complain to was going to be difficult. The challenges we faced as a grassroots group was first trying to get which government entity was really regulating it, and it was the old stereotype of whichever entity you went to pointed to someone else. So we felt we had no choice. If the government is not going to protect the people, we have to protect ourselves. And we did that by trying to inform the public, by uh, holding public demonstrations, First, most of the both companies were completely unresponsive when we would contact them directly. Uh, we had standard answers, we are not doing anything illegal. With this increasing public pressure, some boat companies who had been dumping treated waste decided it was time to look for a solution that would allow them not to dump in the ocean at all. We decided to retrofit our vessels in a way that would allow us to have holding tanks that would hold the waste on the vessel and then hire a pump company to come pump out our vessels. So we started approaching the other companies and realized there was also an economic uh, drawback that they had. It costs quite a bit of money to retrofit your vessel and it costs quite a bit of money to pump out those vessels on shore. So I give a proposal to the county I said, if the county would somehow come up with about $60,000 a year, it would help subsidize all the vessels that needed to pump. And the vessels would have to pay for their own retrofitting, but at least it would help in the cost of, of depositing this waste into our Maui uh, treatment facility. Because Ma'alaya is a state harbor, improving the infrastructure to allow boats to pump their waste is not the county's responsibility. But when it became clear that the harbor improvements may take years to complete, the county decided to step in. Knowing the state system and how long it takes to be able to actuate a new program or to get the response, the county had to step up and do something about a problem that was creating a stir in the community that could possibly have been threatening the health and safety and welfare of the community. We started the program and we got the state and we've got other groups to start participating with us. And so in 2006, the county funded Pump Don't Dump project began. Basically, we took care of all of the finances, all of the planning, all of the contacting, contracting with the pump out facilities. We are usually there at the harbor, um, there in Malaya, uh, starting at five o'clock in the morning. And we offload uh, a scheduled number of boats each time we're there. And um, each boat operator has uh, hoses that we connect to our truck like this. And we remove the waste and then we um, take it to the uh, sewage plant. We uh, feel that the program itself was extremely successful. Now in early 2013, with State Harbor improvements complete, the Pump Don't Dump project is coming to an end. With the new infrastructure, boats can now pump their waste with two different types of pumps to lift stations, which carry the waste to a treatment plant. This particular treatment plant is a state-of-the-art modular plant that according to our first set of test results is treating the sewage to approximately 300 percent better than county minimal standards. Then the water is metered into six different leach fields 
where it goes through the natural biological filtration as it is filtered into the earth. The name of the project is the Ma'alaya Ferry Improvements Project because the funding came from 80% federal money and 20% state money and the total for the two is in excess of $15 million. This was a virtual complete rebuild of the entire infrastructure of the harbor. Yes, we did the sewage treatment plant, the new lift stations, the pump outs and the vacuum pumps. We also rebuilt the entire electrical infrastructure for the harbor. We paved the entire area around the slips, built a new office building for the Division of Boating and Ocean Recreation. So right now, Malaya is virtually state of the art. Through the cooperation and combined efforts of concerned citizens, activity boat operators, and county, state, and federal government officials, our community was able to help protect the pristine waters that Maui's famous for.